combination with other methods, nor was it an unusual method to starve the prisoner into confession. Actually, the starving technique, like interrogation at night, was an integral element in the entire system of coercion. A miserly prison bread ration amounted to ten and a half ounces in the peacetime year of 1933, and to one pound in 1945 in the Lubyanka, and to the family and access to the commissary were universally applied to everyone. But there was also the technique of intensified hunger. For example, Chulpenier was kept for a month on three and a half ounces of bread, after which, when he had just been brought in from the pit, the interrogator Sokol placed in front of him a pot of thick borscht and half a loaf of white bread sliced diagonally. What does it matter, one might ask, how it was sliced? But Chulpenier, even today, will insist that it was really sliced very attractive.